Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Um, I hope everybody's waking up, having a good start to their day. Um, mine's doing better. Uh, as anybody's seen me, has seen that um, I've been in the hospital and I'm struggling with a urinary tract infection. I've got a couple antibiotics on board, um, so that's got me feeling pretty yucky. Um, but uh, one of the things that I was struggling with is something in my life that may be um, coming soon or something that I'm going to have to uh, really dive in and see where it stands. Um, I look at any kind of change as a threat, as most of us do. Our brain recognizes the unknown and it sees threats and it tries to predict and and analyze and, and break down and you know, find all the ways that we can be hurt or ways that, um, you know, things can go wrong. Um, generally, we project our, our worst case scenarios onto the event. Um, so that way, anything in between um, is covered. Um, and that's useful at times. Um, other times, it's not so much useful. Um, like in me and my, my personal aspect of going in and talking to a colon uh, doctor about uh, options of a colostomy um, and how that would affect my life um, but I automatically start making assumptions and um, predictions of how it's going to be worse um, instead of looking at it um, and to say how can it get much worse than it is um, you know my my routine is hell um, I spend a lot of money on, you know, laxatives, on, uh, you know, I, medicine. I, I just have to do so much to keep myself going the way that, you know, we have to go. Um, so it's leading to a lot of discomfort, a lot of bloating. When you're a spinal cord injury, you have lack of mobility in your um, intestines, um, a paralytic bowel. Uh, so basically, you're dependent on stimulants to be able to make yourself go. Um, and, you know, I, I spend most, I spend a big portion of my day, um, doing my routine, um, energy, tears, crying, stress, um, you know, and that's just not a way to live. Um, I'm 43 years old, 44 in August, um, I've still got, you know, a big chunk of life left, or, you know, I intend to, we never know, but to keep continuing to do what I'm doing, and expect something different is insane, um, plain and simple. Um, so, you know, I can look at it like, you know, okay, my body's going to change. Um, you know, I'm going to be a freak more. You know, all these little things that your mind tells you, all these limiting thoughts, all these limiting beliefs about, you know, how people are going to look at me. Um, how, how are they going to feel about me? What's going to change? Who's going to want me? Who's going to be interested in me? Um, am I going to be as attractive? Am, body dysmorphia, you know, all, all this crap going on up here and not taking in consideration of, okay, well, it's going to take 20 minutes to do my bowel routine, um, if that, you know, it's a simple thing that I can learn to do, I'm not going to be reliant, I'm not going to have accidents, I'm not going to, um, you know, just have to deal with the these other aspects of my life that I've, I've dealt with for 20 years that aren't working, um, so I've got my mindset a little bit more. I've got an awesome girlfriend. Um, you know, she she makes sure that she expresses to me that, you know, it's not about uh, how you look. It's about who you are. And, you know, I know these things. I know these things by anybody that cares about me. Anybody that, you know, has a, a relationship or of any kind with me is, is never going to look at me and judge that. Um, I know there's a lot of good um, that that's seen way over something that's, just something that has to be um so you know i'm gonna get on uh working out doing my exercises eating right you know and see how that affects things um and if not i'm probably gonna need to lose some weight you know again i got happy for a while so i gained a little bit of weight back that's all good but you know for my health and for my arms and for all the other things i deal with it's just you know i've gotta i've gotta get back to work on it um so my goal is to lose like 20 pounds i'm like back up to 186 um, so, that's where I'm at now, and, you know, I'm in a little better place than I was, you know, when I started talking about, about it, um, and I, I do know that I just need to, you know, get on top of this UTI, get off these antibiotics, 
get my probiotics back going good and my supplements, my eating, my exercise, and you know, we'll just see where that goes. Um, but definitely I'm starting to look at things in a little clearer light and, uh, you know, acceptance is the key. Um, anytime there's a loss, anytime you have any kind of loss, whether it's a family member, whether it's your legs, whether it's your kids, whether it's anything, I mean, even aspect of, of like negative, uh, but anything, anytime we lose anything, we have to come to acceptance that, you know, this is something that's just happened. So as with it, it's the same thing, you know, but, uh, I hope everybody has a great day. My day is going a little better and I hope y'all is going great too. I love you all a lot and uh stay with it and just keep keep soldiering on man you're a trooper love you peace out trips out